It seems that progress has not been as swift as I had hoped. In places, this town is still undefended. And if we are to stop the advance of these wretched pagan Norsemen, we must quicken our resolve. The sacrifices that have brought us to this point have been many. My father, the late King Alfred, no less, did not live and die to see this nation ravaged by constant warring. Future peace and prosperity demand that we draw a line here and stand firm against these bloodthirsty raiders! Trusted friends have brought word that the Viking leader Ingemund has recently been in council with his men and has firm designs on this town. He was heard to say that it is right for them all to seize Chester with its wealth and its lands. Clearly, he is not content with the land I gave him. Still, we shall have the better of him. Oh, I am confident both in our growing forces and our strategy. Orders have gone out to our warriors that the men should first do battle outside the town walls. And then, when the moment is right, flee back into the town as if in defeat. When the Viking hordes come inside the town, we'll shut the gates behind them and our hidden horsemen will slay them in the street! <laughs> However, the walls must be secure and we must mobilize more men to assist in this endeavor. Well might they try and shelter under their feeble hurdles, but they will be no match for our missiles. Nonetheless, we must be ready with our boiling pots and beehives. Nothing must be left to chance in defense of these walls! Yeah!